the famous Dennis Catering bring you the Roller Cycling Derby. Yes, time once again for the Dennis Catering Roller Derby. This time we're up to the fourth quarter final and this should be a beauty. On the red roller we've got Ross Forster, tremendous bike rider. He won the World of Sport Roller Final back in 1979. He was runner-up last year and is currently a CIB detective at Mooney Ponds. He's been in tremendous form, won the 50 kilometre points, score Australian Championship at Lavington just a fortnight ago and is a top six-day star. On the yellow roller today, his opposition, a young man called Terry Bird, 29 years of age. Terry's an electrician with Ansett Airways out there at Tullamarine. And interestingly enough, he rode faster than Forster to qualify and is certainly capable of surprising the more experienced Forster. So it should be a very good fourth quarter final. We'll take a break and then be back with the Dennis Catering Roller Derby quarter final. Set to go now in the fourth quarter final of the Dennis Catering Roller Derby. In the yellow, Terry Bird. In the red, Ross Forster. Bill Long's with us once again. Bill, they're in your hands. Right, set. Good start by both of these boys. Very, very close at the moment. Ross Forster in the red is marginally ahead, but there's absolutely nothing in it. This is four laps. 1,660 yards. Bird, in fact, has taken over now with three to go. He's edged some 15 metres ahead. And this is what we said at the start. The boy in the yellow is quite capable of causing an upset here. Terry Bird, very inexperienced in the rolls. In fact, he's not competing in the sixth day. Two laps to go, and he's opened up a very, very handy lead. Forster's got to peg him back, and he's doing that now ever so slowly. Will Bird tire? It looks as though he could be, but here comes Forster, closing the gap now. Bird is losing his grip on this race. In fact, he's lost it with one lap to go. And the more experienced Forster has surged away to a handy lead. And it looks to be a winning lead. Forster going further ahead. Here's the experience of Ross Forster, 31 years of age. And he's going on to a very, very easy victory. A good win to Ross Forster over Terry Bird. Great race. With Forster showing all his experience. Coming in the last two laps to go away to a very, very good win. And Lou Richards is now speaking with Bill Long and the two boys. That was a fantastic effort, Terry. Uh, by golly, it looked as though you might have been gone the early stage, but you come home like a, like a house on fire. I'm not going to say like a bird. Ross, a uh, bit of bad luck. No, he's one Lou Forster. Did I get the wrong one around? I'll tell you how you've done it, really. What? He's on the yellow roll and he's in a yellow jumper. And that's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's typical of me, isn't it? Well... Okay, congratulations. Uh, getting a brawl doing that. Yes, Ross. It's a detective. Well, mate. fancy doing that to a detective. You know what uh, <laughs> Sandy Roberts said? He said, you're a great detective. He said, you couldn't track an elephant through snow. You know, that's what he said, truly. <laughs> but anyway, congratulations. Yeah. Bad luck, Thanks, uh, Terry. Yeah. It was nice to win for about 10 seconds there, and he actually put up a good show, didn't he? And he's led for halfway or more. Yes. Uh, I know his brother, Terry Bird's brother, yes. Yeah, what's uh, his name? Dickie Bird. Uh, listen, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to take this back from, uh, from Valentine's, that's the Brazil Nuts, and also the Entertainments, and the same goes for uh, Terry too. What was the time then? Uh, 1.5.35. That's pretty quick, pretty isn't it? time, yeah. yeah. These boys uh, competing in that big uh, Bendigo Madison tonight. Well, it'll be a great show. Oh, it's a fantastic race up there, Lou. It's a great night up at Bendigo. They've got a big crowd too, don't they? They stack them in sideways. I reckon they must get me about the 20,000, Mark. Well, they go horribly close to it, but it's a great promotion and I recommend it to everybody that saw the six-day bike race go up to, to Bendigo and you'll see one of the greatest two-and-a-half-hour spectacles possible. Well, thanks very much, Bill, Good and congratulations once again, Ross. Thanks, Lou. The Roller Cycling Derby was brought to you by the famous Dennis Catering.